The Quran, Harakat, Vowels, and Signs. Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma. Fatha, Tain, Kasra, Tain, Dhamma, Tain. Dhamma, Tain. Fatha, Tain, Kasra, Tain, Dhamma, Tain. Fukun, Hamza, Tulwasli, Extra Letter. Shadda and Mad. You can find all these names underneath. For example, this is a Fatha, this one is Kasra, and this one is Dhamma. So you can find down, this is a Fatha Tain, and another Fatha Tain, which is there. Okay, this is Kasra Tain. And another kasra ten is there also. Same. Kasra ten, kasra ten. Dhamma ten. Yeah. Another dhamma ten. There. Another one will be there. And another one is there. Four dhamma tens. Confined all in the Quran. Maybe different. Mushaf. Okay. <clears throat> this one we call sukun. Maybe you think this is a sukun, that's incorrect. That's not sukun. And this one we call hands of Tulwas to come with this alif only, a sign. And this one we call it extra letter, means silent this sign. If you see that sign, any letter under this sign will be silent. As in English, this K, silent. Do not say knife, you say knife only. At the same time, likewise, this one is silent, it can under any letter, under that sign. Like Uraika, that's wow, wow is zero, that's wow will be silent. Of course, Shadda makes the letter is two letters. Any letter under this sign will be two letters. First one has a sukun, you stop over. And you move another one with another uh, sound, just any vowel or harak. This one called mad stretching, makes long. We have different mudud or different meds, different tables. The teacher is will explain to you which one Long and short. That's the all vowels and signs. If you're interested in the, to order, order the book, you can contact us from the Abbey, inshallah. Have fun. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.